doing the uh, dash repair on my 92 F-150 regular cab F short bed anyway so I'm doing actually extensive repairs um, taking the old vinyl flooring out which was gray I replaced it in 2016 with some LMC I believe flooring didn't really care for it when I put it in and so anyway I'm gonna change the flooring to black I got a black um, dash cover to go with it and then I'm gonna change the headliner to black and as well as the back carpet it covers the wall got it black and then I'm gonna put sound detonator on the floor back wall and on the cab roof of the cab I might just rewire these wires make them a little bit easier anyway so what I'm doing now is I want to replace this or put this bracket in I think I got it from Jess Bronco graveyard it's pretty thick it's a bit of an eighth inch thick focus anyway the old one most of you guys know goes right there kind of like that snaps off breaks easy bolts there uses a uh, eight millimeter bolt and I'm probably going to need a right angle drill because this guy is not going to work. And I can't open my door anymore because I'm in my storage working on this thing. And my door can only open so far being in here. So I'm thinking a right angle drill of some sort would, whether it be air or electric, I don't know. Actually, I got a electric ratchet that I might be able to adapt might figure something out on that but anyway <clears throat> this thing there's a hole I won't be able to see it there it is a big hole right there I assume lines up with that big hole because just stick that in there like that they line up they're about right there and then I'm gonna clean all that gooey at the bottom but then it will be flat and straight down there so what you got to do to get to this point is four millimeter or seven millimeter bolts on top four of them spread evenly on the top um, that bolt that's broke this one is eight these two down here were, I think they were eight yeah I had to loosen this one eight this one's eight and there's one next to the fuse panel over there that's an eight which I don't even know if I need to take that out but I did it anyway um, anyway so that allows me to pull this out I got a block of wood wedging it just to hold it out a little further I may have to go just a hair further but I need to I need to clean up all this crap where the old one broke see it there I need to clean all this I don't think I can think of my Dremel, I don't have any cut wheels for my Dremel I'm doing this
Cut that easy. Feel too bad. Just put a bolt in that big hole and call it good. Anyway, this thing, this piece here has got a little slot. A little slot it fits in there. Kind of like that. You gotta get three rivets in it. Which. Drill bit size seven thirty seconds. This camera sucks. Okay, I give you some pretty, pretty heavy aluminum rivets. Comes with three in the kit. And I got my rivet gun. I think the rivet gun should fit in there. The rivet gun's no problem. I just gotta figure out a way of drilling the hole. So let me figure that part out and I'll get back. I got two rivets in. One's crooked. This is just the bolt to center. It's three eighths. It's a random bolt I found. Oh wow, this thing's kind of a pain in the ass. But it's solid. Um, I tried to use this oh, little guy. I put my drill bit in there, but it won't tighten down far enough for my drill or the drill bit to not spin. Besides that, it's it's like right there. I'd have to cut my drill bit down to nothing. Cause it's right in the way. So. I don't feel like going to the store and buying a hard angle drill bit. And these rivets should work, so it's probably it's not the right way to do it, but it'll work. Because I'm just coming in here at this angle. It's only plastic anyway. Do it to the bracket and then to the plastic. Push this out a little bit. Let's do it. Real slow on the rivet, and then this thing really gets in there. She's pretty tight, so well, I guess you could put a bolt in there. You got access on the back side to do it if you wanted to. I'm not going through all that. It's got three rivets in it. It should do what it's supposed to do. 
Gender clothes. You can kind of see those two bottom rivets are a little top guy. The top's a little bit better. Like I said you can get a bolt in the hole. I don't have that kind of bolt for it. I don't have to worry about it. As long as it's like that, it's got to be better because what I had before, which worked really good when I first got this truck, this dash shook like something terrible. Let's see, see those two holes. Those, these are like three inch inch long I don't know if they're quarter inch or what but I run it through that plastic and into the cab and it held it for years now I've had this truck since 2014 you can kind of see the little bracket there on the side but it was only a matter of time I didn't know how long that plastic would hold up but it's doing fine it was doing fine I could have left it the way it was Oh, well, I only put two in there just because I was kind of worried that one would eventually break loose. That's why I went with that. But you can kind of, I don't know if I can get you in there to see that hole. Tell you what, no matter what light you got, there, there it is. You can see the hole. You can put a bolt through there. And you'll have to stick your finger back there and put your nut. Put that bolt on there. Yeah. So you can kind of. I could probably do that at any time. Just decided to get stupid. But uh, after that, I'll put these four up here. It's that seven millimeter up top. Eight millimeter there. Eight there, and then there's one back over there in the corner. It's kind of a pain to get to, so hopefully I didn't break anything. <coughs> hopefully I didn't break anything in the dash. I didn't hear anything snap or pop. I mean, it was cracking and stuff, crackling. I mean, the plastic was stretching, but nothing too bad. I was more worried about pulling a wire out or something, but I'll find out once I get all this done and. And um, get her started again and see if things still works. If not, I'll have to pull my dash for sure. But yep, there it is. Hopefully, she holds up. All right, I just wanted to make a video on that because I cannot find a video on that particular fix. So. It's not the best way of doing it, but it worked. And I'm not going to spend all day on it just pulling my dash out just to do that. I got other things to worry about.
Anyway, I give you guys some ideas. If you guys improve on it, let me know. Let others know what we're here for. All right, let's get out of here. See you later.